In less than an hour, Brianna Williams will be back in court. The former Navy petty officer is expected to learn how long she will spend in prison. She faces anywhere between 20 years to life. She pleaded guilty earlier this year to murdering her five-year-old daughter, Taylor. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding shows us the first time the court heard from a neighbor who saw Williams when she was left home alone, the little girl. That neighbor's statements are ultimately what led to Brianna Williams being arrested for child neglect. He said he would occasionally see the little girl with her mother, but things he says changed. Neighbor Carlos Johnson provided a clear picture of Taylor Williams lonely life. He testified that on the morning of April 17th, he saw the little girl outside. Her mother, Brianna Williams, was nowhere to be found. And I said, hey, there's a baby outside. Hold on a minute. And so I put the phone down and went downstairs and I said, Taylor, what are you doing out here? She said, I'm looking for my mama. I looked over, I didn't see her mom's car. I said, look, what you need to do is go back in the house, close the door and let me hear you lock it. Right? When you saw Taylor, uh, did she have anything with her? Her doll. Her doll? Yeah, the was stuffed this, animal. I'm sorry, go ahead. It was the stuffed animal, yeah. Was this a doll you had seen her with before? All the time. Johnson also said he never saw Taylor after May 15th, and when he asked Williams about her daughter, she told him she was with her grandparents in Alabama. Another neighbor testified that she offered to help with babysitting after learning Taylor was being left alone, but Williams never took her up on the offer. Other testimony centered around Williams' behavior. A JSO officer on scene after she called 911 to report her daughter missing said Williams' tears seemed forced. During a police interview played in court, Williams could be heard getting overwhelmed during questioning, saying, I am over this. And when asked if she wanted to answer more questions, she said, not right now. The state also called a forensic investigator who looked into Williams' search history on her computer. They said there were several articles about violence against children and malnourishment. As of now, the defense has only indicated that it intends to call a one witness, which is a psychologist. Court resumes at 9 o'clock this morning here at the Duval County Courthouse. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.